Good evenings, good afternoons, or good morning. Whatever you are in the world, and your friend Mark could be again. Lots of people ask me about Mark. When I saw YouTube clips from others, they shown some products in their videos. Why didn't you do that? Because your clip is so boring. Because you should show us the Nano. You should show us the MacBooks and things like that. I said, well, I did that. If you see all my clips, I got 71 clips on YouTube. You will see some of my clips that I show you some products. Sometime I was working at the Apple Store. I show you my stores and things. <clears throat> Let me clarify this. I got everything at hands. I got a cameras. I got everything. I got all the equipment. But if I show you all the things, you won't be visionary. You won't use your imagination because I feed everything to you. It's like, you know what? I love to read Stephen King's or Michael Crichton's novels. Okay, uh, I have finished his Jurassic Parks, but I. I went to the bookstores and I bought the novel, and then I read, and then I use my imagination about that. So same as my tutorial clips. I want you to think about it. It's not too hard to understand, right? <clears throat> um, the story today is about. It's going to be all about PC switcher. If you want to move to Mac, I mean, for the first time. And of course, you have to manipulate things. Okay, there are two different types of PC switcher. Briefly, first, <clears throat> you already have a PC at home, and you want to buy a Mac. Probably because Mac is good, you won't get infected by viruses or whatever, for a certain reason. And you buy a Mac, right? Or you want to entirely switch to Mac. That means you may have to giving away your old PC to someone, and then you buy a new Mac. Okay, the first one is easy. Okay, you don't have to do anything. I think. Okay, you can keep your files, some of your files, just move some files. But the second one is quite a bit sophisticated. <clears throat> So I'm going to give you a brief example how to switch to Mac and um, transfer all the files from PC to Mac. I'm talking about content, not applications. For instance, um, you've been using Photoshop for PC for a very long time, and then you wanted to switch to Mac. The only things that you have to do. After you have successfully switched to Mac, is you have to buy a new Photoshop from Adobe. But this time, it's not for PC. This time, it's gonna be for Mac. Okay, you want to buy any application, like at the end of this years, I mean, you will get the Autodesk, AutoCAD for Mac, or Microsoft would release the Microsoft Office 2011 for Mac with the um, Auto Express for Mac for the first time. <clears throat> so, we are not talking about applications. Like, we've been using PC to create document, uh, and the format of that document is DOC. And then you switch to Mac, and then you install Microsoft Office to Mac. That means now we have two different application type because the PC is EXE and the Mac one is DMG okay but the content that has been produced by these two application could be exchanged between the two you got what I mean I mean these two application on different platforms can change this document to each other it's pretty much the same. When you read the um, Apple website, when you read the Apple website, 
uh, they taught people some, you know, some ways to move to Mac and transfer files, okay? But they did not give the percentage or the ratio between, you know, the top alternative or what would be the least alternative or something. So let me teach you something from my experience. Not from any books, but from the Apple Store, what we do over there. Um, firstly, if you go to now, I'm going to ask you to use your imagination. Okay? On your Mac, you go to Fighter, on top of the screen, you see the drop down menus. Okay? Uh, the menu bar, you see Go. If you select Go, you will get drop down menus, and then you will see the words Connect to Server. If you hook up your Mac with your old PC using LAN cable, okay, you will see your PC as the server, and then you can drag things to your Mac. Or, if you already own a Mac, you have another Mac, and that Mac has the firewire, whether 400 or 800, you can hook up your, your new Mac with the old Mac, okay, and this time, let me give you a brief example. Both of them, okay, have been turned off. Okay, now you have to turn on your destination map. Okay, now you got your new maps turned on, and then you have another map turned off, right? You turn it on. Hook them up. Before you turn it on, you hook them up together with a FireWire cable, okay? And while you are trying to turn another Mac on, you have to hold out the T, T Tiger, okay, T button, okay. This this method called target this mode. So if you transform your old Mac to become a hard drive on the desktop of another Mac, then you can drag the thing you want to. But the top alternative ways to switch to Mac is using an external hard drive that's the easiest way nowadays we can buy like one or two terabyte hard drive at a very cheap price okay so I'm gonna go deeper about the hard drive later on and there are a number of others alternatives that you can use like if you go onto the internet there is a very um, popular applications on the internet called Move to Mac. Move to Mac application, but this one you have to buy, or you can use the USB cable from Belkin. Okay, that is allowed to. Uh, these these uh, cable allow you to do this pretty much the same thing as when you were doing things with the FireWires to transfer things between Macs and PC. But the easiest way is to use an external hard drive but it won't be that easy. If you hook up your PC external hard drive to your Mac for the first time, you may not have to, I mean, you might happen to see some obstacle because it wouldn't show up on the screen, okay? Because most PC hard drive format is NTFS, not FAT32, okay? then you have two options. Uh, the thing is, Mac can read NTFS format but cannot write it. You know, I mean, have received even thousand letters or thousand of calls from Mac users call me the Mac Mark. Why, when I hook up my OPC drive to my Mac. How could I um, just write it? But I couldn't write it for some reason. So I replied, "Okay, you have two options. Okay, first, okay, um, you have if you have tons of informations on that hard drive." You got lots of information on that. You need help. Okay? You type in Google. 
okay firstly you can type 3g 3g ntfs okay and another one called macfuse m a c f u s e okay you download these two install them onto your mac and this time you can write that pc hard drive or if you just bought it, I mean, just bought a new hard drive yesterday, and the hard drive is empty. Just plug it into your Mac. It will be formatted to FAT32. Okay. Or you can transfer everything on that hard drive to other computer or other hard drive, and use the feature called Disk Utilities. So where is Disk Utilities? Okay. Same place. On top of the screen, go to Fighters, go select Utility, go to this Utility. After you hook it up that hard drive to your Mac, you go to this Utility, you will see that hard drive appears in Utility. And then you select that and select ERS and choose FAT DOS format. If you reformat that hard drive to FAT DOS, this hard drive can be read and write okay, by you. It's easy. Uh, on the contrary, if you've been using like PC before and you borrowed friends, I mean a hard drive from Macintosh, of course you can read but you cannot write. Uh, the easiest way is to buy an application called Mac Drive, Mac Drive on the internet. So that's the way it is. One more time. Um, I just wanted to give you my true experience with a number of PC switchers throughout the world. When they came into the store, they asked me a question about installing Windows onto the Mac using boot camps or Perl desktops or VMware Fusions or whatever and so on. You know what? Few people are aware of this. I asked them back, why, why do you want to install, I mean, Windows onto your Mac? They said, well, I want to do my Word, Excel, and PowerPoint as a Mac. I said, you don't have to. Because you can go to the Google and you can type in Neo Office and download directly. Um, Neo Office has been created based on um, OpenOffice platform, which uh, is developed by Sun Microsystem, one of the Fortune 500 you know, top companies in the world. Uh, I could see only two reasons why people have to install Windows onto their Mac, and it undoubtedly, first, um, if you want to play game that supports only PC, or secondly, you want to be able to use small tiny application that has been written just only for for PC and the, the, the file format is .exe so it's truly incompatible with Macs that's the only reason but in terms of any of those world-class you know, top um, applications on the world I mean like a Photoshop from Adobe and stuff and Office from Microsoft or some stupid things. I mean, you search on the internet first, okay, this blah 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 from Mac, okay, that's the only choice. Or if you might be able to find something that pretty much the same but not exactly the same, not identical, like like AutoCAD, we got Vectorwork or Archicad, okay, you got what I mean? Or have been using uh, Adobe Lightrooms, but what about apertures on Mac or something? So that's your option. So in order to install Windows on Mac, I want it to be the last choice. You try other things first, and then you try that. Okay.